Hello, friends! So in our last episode, our hero, Dr. R, had to make a decision. Should he take his favorite banana socks from Mrs. R and Baby R, even though they were having a lot of fun playing with them? Or should he use a coping skill which his friend Mr. T suggested? So, what Dr. R did is he thought long and hard what would happen if I just took the socks. I really want them, I should just take them, right? That's what my friend Mr. B suggested. But then he realized if he took the socks, how would Mrs. R feel? And how would Baby R feel? They'd probably be pretty sad. Maybe they'd be upset or angry. And he really did not want that to happen. So, that left him with option two, use a coping skill. So what is a coping skill? Watch and find out. I decided to take the advice of my friend Mr. T and use a coping skill. But what is a coping skill? I knew I had heard this somewhere, but I could not remember what it was. So I looked it up in a book, and I learned that a coping skill is something you do to help you deal with a stressful situation. This was definitely a stressful situation. I decided to call back Mr. T to get some ideas about what coping skills I could try. Well, Dr. R, some coping skills you could use include exercising, building with Legos, taking a nice warm shower, doing yoga, coloring, going for a walk, or using Silly Putty. I decided to try what Mr. T had suggested. First, I took out the Legos. I built a really cool fort. Then, I tried coloring a picture. After that, I went for a nice walk. The weather was nice, but it sure was rocky. After that, I took a nice warm shower. Then I played a game with Silly Putty, my guinea pig. I don't think Silly Putty liked the game very much. After that, I decided it was time for my favorite form of exercise, Kung Fu. I did have a lot of fun, except for that misstep on the hill. And then I did yoga. After all those coping skills, I did feel more calm. But it would be even better if I had someone to do them with me. I decided to ask Mrs. R if she wanted to do some yoga with me. Luckily, she said she would love to. Doing yoga with Mrs. R and Baby R sure was fun. By the end, I had almost forgotten how upset I was. That was so much fun, yeah, Mrs. R. That was great, Dr. R. I love doing yoga with yeah, you. Yeah, that was great. You know what? You can have your banana socks. You know, thanks, but I don't really even want them anymore. Let's do more yoga. <gasps> Yay! Yeah! And welcome back! So in this episode, Dr. R learns that a coping skill is something you do to help you deal with stress. And so the question that I would like to give you today is what is a coping skill that you use today to deal with something stressful? It might have been something just a little stressful, or maybe something really stressful. But what did you do so that you would get through that situation and still feel okay. 
There's one thing to keep in mind is that just because you use a coping skill, it doesn't mean that the situation goes away or that everything changes for the better. It might still be a really challenging situation, but when we use coping skills, it just helps us deal with the situation better so that we can get through it. So thank you for joining us for episode three. Um, this is just the beginning of our coping skill segment. We are going to talk more about coping skills and talk about some advanced coping skills and different types of coping skills you can use for different situations and why they even work in the first place. So stay tuned for next time when we delve more into the depths of coping skills. Be healthy out there.